Hello, and welcome to the Change Gang Podcast with me, your host, Laura Ordeal. I'm here to help you hold on to your sanity and your soul as you move through big change. I'm here to guide you from frustration to flow in your life, bridging the practical and the woo just for you. Let's go. Hey, Change King, happy day. Today we are going to continue on with our astrology and we're going to talk a little bit about Saturn and why it's important. Saturn is really big energy in our lifetime. It is that life lesson, that soul purpose, that promise that we made coming into this life to really be working in that energy and Saturn comes around and there's what's called a Saturn return uh, about every 29 years so if you think now if you're older than 29 if you think back to that year when you were mm, could lean into 28 maybe 30 but definitely around 29 you will see that you had a really big thing happen around that time so you know it could be 28 or so but think about that think about what changed in your life at that age I will bet that you had some big event that happened a birth um, a college graduation it could have been a year that everything fell apart everything I've talked to people when I've done their chart and they their whole thing changed they moved they had a whole different relationship everything changed for them their whole direction in life Saturn comes in and really makes big changes sometimes for us and the interesting part is if you think of Saturn a little bit like the high school principal they are they're keeping us in line saying hey are you where you're supposed to be are you doing the things you're supposed to be doing checking in to see that you are learning in the way that you are meant to be learning in this lifetime and it's a pretty incredible thing to see how it plays out in our life and so and it comes around and eh, usually you get a second Saturn return as well and then it also moves and Um, kind of focuses pretty intensely on things about every uh, I think it's seven years every seven years yeah and it transits and it really will push on that particular um, sign in our life so it's interesting to take a look at your chart and see what's going on where the Saturn is and what you're really feeling in that particular time and maybe what the, the lessons are that you're learning in your life because if they're going through if, if Saturn's really focused uh, in Libra then it might be that you are really really learning about relationships and it would still be in relation to whatever your particular sign is whatever your Saturn sign is but it would be in that uh, that realm a little bit with that kind of flavor to it so let's say your uh, your Saturn is in Gemini then in this lifetime it's really to kind of deal with communication to take responsibility and be aware and make decisions around the thoughts that you have right and that communication that you need to be putting out there teaching learning talking all of that stuff so if Saturn is coming around and pushing into Libra and your natal Saturn is in Gemini you might really be learning about communication in those relationships see how that works how cool is that it's pretty dang cool so I wanted to touch on a couple of things um, and the elements I'm gonna just kind of go through Saturn in the elements and tell you a little bit about him and then I if I have time I can pop in and give you maybe just a quick little few words on each sign but 
but depend also you know you want to see where it sits and what house and things like that and in relation to other planets to really understand the nuances of how Saturn works in in your life and that's why you go to an astrologer and you have them read your chart or you learn how to do it yourself which is crazy amazing and fun but if Saturn is sitting in water, of course, we know water's around that emotional body, right? And this is where it's going to come in and say, are you willing to really feel your emotions? Are you willing to live with them, to be a part of them, to, um, oh, there go my puppies. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can hear my puppies are barking in the background, but. Anyway, back to water and Saturn. It is around the emotional body. And it's feeling into the human condition and accepting it. Living with that. Dealing with the pain that comes. and But really from a perspective of um, from the midwife. So if you think about that, it's not taking on everyone else's pain. It's being with them through that painful process so you're not the one that's going through that you are the one that is helping someone else do that when you are dealing in that emotional body and that can be a difficult thing for people in water they really want they're the ones that always um, say I'm so uh, I'm such an empath I'm so empathic I take on everybody's feelings and so it's important to really learn how to handle that in this lifetime how to function in that and not take on everyone else's stuff so and then with Saturn in air it is that communication right it is learning all about how to how to communicate with all of the people around you how to communicate even with yourself how to communicate the things that need to be said and really to accept to accept the thoughts that you have the things that you want to talk about not to try and blame someone else for all of the things that you're thinking right because People with air, with Saturn and air, can really go off and tell some stories in their mind, let me tell you. And so it's about coming back and really reeling that in and going, okay, no, I am the person that gets to be out there. I am the one that gets to write the story. I am the one that gets to tell my own life story and events and all of that. So that's how that comes into play. Um, and then with Saturn and Earth, all right, this is being in the body full time, being present, being down to earth, as they say, being connected and grounded and all of that, and not complaining about it, not being upset that that is who you are. That is a part of what you are meant to do in this life, all right? To be in this amazing place. And often it's at that foundational level with Earth, as we talked about. And so it might be challenges around money, home, those foundational things, uh, work. You know, are you turning into a workaholic? Do you need to change things up? That's some of the lessons that you learn with Saturn in an earth sign uh, is to find that balance there and in fire it's really being bold and blunt and putting yourself out there and knowing that you can have a voice and not only will you have a voice for yourself but you will have a voice for other people all right it's important to know that if you have if you have saturn in a fire sign you are meant to speak up for yourself and for others. And the others might not follow you right away. They might not be right behind you, but you are lighting the way and you are lighting the fire for them. So don't give up. Do not give up. 
Keep being out there. Be seen. That's another thing that is a part of that fire is being seen, being on stage front and center and knowing that that's a good thing. All right. And, and finding the truth in it all, moving into the truth, speaking the truth and living in that truth. All right. So those are the quick down and dirty <laughs> um, ways that Saturn moves in to your life and how it shows up. All right. And so just running really quickly through the signs, and I mean really quickly, there's much more to it than I'm going into here. But if you have Saturn in Aries, it's going to be being that warrior, standing up for yourself, being that independent person, fighting for love, and, and standing for the people that are there with you in your life, really being in the self and making that bringing that out into the world. Uh, in Taurus, it's probably going to be around home uh, and money. Is money an issue for you? Because it's either going to be one, you're going to really whine and be upset about it, or you're going to be really good at it and you're going to know that it feels good to take your time with it, to stash the money away, to do the things that you want to do, and that it's okay to take your time. Gemini, Again, uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, it's going to be kind of being responsible and taking charge of your mind because Geminis are all up in their mind. And so you came into this life with the promise that you were going to take charge of your thoughts. All right. And you are going to be the one that speaks about the things. You're going to put that energy out there. The writer, uh, the thinker, the talker, the, the person who journals, the podcaster, the uh, journalist, all of that. You are going to be that person. And bringing the word uh, of whatever it is that you want to share about to other people is meant for you. And for cancer, it is knowing that you have a healing nature and that family is important to you and that it is going to be an emotional realm that you live in in this lifetime and sometimes that can be hard think about the the sign of cancer the crab they have that outer shell but they're really soft underneath so it is going to be maybe trying to find the balance of not having uh, that shell so hard that you never let people in right? Knowing that it's okay to let people in, but not to take on absolutely everything from everyone. And then with Leo, it is that it is okay. And it is important for you to have the attention and to be bold and beautiful and to present yourself with the new hairdo and the new clothes and to show yourself off up on stage and say, look at me, look at me. That's important for a Leo to do. And you came into this life, my friend, with the agreement to do that. And then in Virgo, oh my goodness, this is one where it is a really an incredible thing and and, a, and it will be a lesson of a lifetime to know that you are enough that you are getting it right and that you do not have to be perfect that you are okay the way you are this life lesson um, is one that that can be so beautiful if you let it because it lets you know that you are so amazing and you came in to analyze things to put things in order to really make the systems in our life and to feel good about it so it might be crazy but if you if you have virgo in saturn you might really be a great organizer or you really are fighting against it and everything is a mess <laughs> and if that's the case i would encourage you to step into that and really work on bringing those systems to your life because it will be a much easier ride if you're fighting against these life lessons the ride is going to be a harder thing the life is going to not be uh, as much in flow as it could be so with libra um, it's about 
knowing that you can be independent and have a relationship at the same time. You can. And for Libras, it's they go back and forth so much. I really want to be alone. I really need my alone time. But I really want to be in the relationship. And to know that you can do both and really bring balance and have commitment in the relationship and have commitment to yourself at the same time is so incredible. The trouble comes when you're not, when you're just going from relationship to relationship to relationship. You said you would come into this lifetime, work on relationships with yourself and with others to harmonize, to bring that harmony, to engage the dialogue, to really kind of have um, that healthy exchange of being in both a quiet time with self and a wonderful time with relationship. So if you have Scorpio in Saturn, whoo, goodness, this goes deep and it can go a little dark. And when I say dark, I only mean that it goes into all of the emotions. It goes into sometimes the negative stuff that people don't like to talk about. But Scorpios understand it in a way that is not necessarily negative. They just explore it just like they do every other emotion in the world, every other thing. They look at death like they look at life. It's a part of it all, and it's amazing. It is amazing. And so if you came in with Scorpio, your life lesson is maybe to explore that darker side. The thing is not to get caught up in it and stay in those. So you might actually experience some addictions. You might experience uh, the darker side or the you know wild side of the psyche of... Um, the human experience, so to say, and all the wonderful things that people won't talk about, like sex, and all the amazing things that we have as being a human. So you're pretty incredible if you have this placement. And I'm going to say, trust it, go with it, and don't let anybody tell you that what you are trying to understand and what you're trying to dig into, because you are going to dig into things because you're a great detective. You will go find all the secrets of everyone. Uh, that's And that's a part of it. So work with that. Work with that in your life. For Sagittarius, honesty. Honesty. You came into this life to say, I'm going to work with honesty. I'm going to go into learning all about uh, the philosophical side of things. I'm going to enjoy all of that learning and education. I'm going to dig into religion and dogma and cults and, and the big picture of life. And I am going to explore it all and not be the pretender. See, this is an interesting life lesson. People in Sagittarius can sometimes struggle with being honest, with finding that truth with others and with themselves. And so as you're working in that, if you're really living the lesson and that soul purpose, you are really living in truth and being that honest, amazing person that you are meant to be. For Capricorns, it's discipline discipline and that hard work, leadership, um, really knowing that there are high standards here uh, for you in this lifetime. And so it can go either way. It can go that you're really living and kind of being lazy and not doing the things that you need to be doing, or you're doing this incredible thing and working and knowing that that is an important part of your life, right? And you are here, my friend, to manifest and show all of us how it is done, okay? Aquarius, you're meant to be different. Don't even try to not be different. <laughs> <laughs> be strange, be wild, be independent, be the humanitarian, um, the scientist, the 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 woo-woo scientist, the one that goes, hey, I want to study quantum physics and quantum jumping. Be that person because accepting that you are going to bring the different into this world is a crazy, amazing, 
life purpose and life lesson. And for Pisces, all right, for Pisces, this is to overcome um, uh, the issues with boundaries, all right, whether they're too weak or too strong. And this can probably be a back and forth thing that you go through through life because there's sometimes they're just not there and then you get hurt or you have these things that happen and then they go up and they're so concrete that you don't experience the beautiful things that you're meant to experience. So really to kind of find those personal boundaries and know that you are this mystical, magical creature in this world is so incredible. You can create such amazing things. You are an artist in whatever way you want to be. So take that to heart. That is part of your purpose in this life is to be artistic, to express that, show that in the most amazing, loving way you can. So there you go, my friends. Quick run through on Saturn in your chart so now you need to go find out which one you are and look into that a little bit and see what is my life lesson how do i need to be working with it a little more what could i be doing to make my life a little easier <laughs> and flowing a little better and living in the agreement that i made so i hope that you enjoyed that i hope that you found something out of that and uh, I look forward to next week. I'm going to continue on, see how much astrology there is. I'm going to talk some more about astrology next week. So come on back if you're enjoying it and we'll chat some more. I hope today's episode was interesting to you in some way and fun. If so, hey, find someone to share it with. Maybe they need to hear it too, or maybe they'll just enjoy it. If you'd like, go ahead and grab my tips on supercharging your success. It includes a free short meditation to do just that. You can find that at bit.ly slash supercharge your success. Until next time, happy days.